Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I'm going to do a few videos here doing a quick treatment about a few archangels. I do have more in-depth courses over at Gumroad with a meditation. I will link that in the description box below. But first today I would like to talk about Archangel Michael. Now Archangel Michael is one of the most popular archangels out there. It's the one that most people have heard about. And Archangel Michael is all about protection, clarity, courage, uh, drive, being focused on a path. Now, during these times, especially where we are maybe feeling unfocused, where we're living, waiting for the next thing to just crack open and be there right in our faces for us to deal with, Archangel Michael can be very helpful and helping us get into alignment. You might have heard about Archangel Michael and cord cutting or cord dissolving. And this is this concept that when we have a thought form or an emotion, it forms a cord. Now the cords can be positive, they could be loving cords, or they can be negative. So this is where people will say, no, 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 I did a clearing with Archangel Michael, meaning they went into meditation and they cleared away all negativity, yes? cords, maybe did some cord cutting, uh, and then they come out of meditation, they're feeling really good, and then they get a text from an ex, and then boom, <laughs> we're connected again, and we have to do another clearing. So this is one of those things, going along the line of clearing, where people will often say, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's like vacuuming. Okay, like you don't just vacuum your home once and then it's good forever, right? You're going to have people coming in. It's going to be traffic coming in, people tracking mud, and you got to you gotta clean it up again. So when you hear about Archangel Michael and clearing, you can do this in a couple of ways. So you can imagine, you know, he's known as having a, a sword of truth, right? So you can cut the cords and imagine them being vacuumed out of you. Uh, this is very, very popular, although some of the meditations I've heard on this have gotten a little silly with having a golden vacuum. I don't know. It starts to become a cartoon in my head, and I see, like, Hoover on the side of it. It doesn't work for me, but if it works for you, run with it. Whatever. <laughs> Divine vacuum cleaning. Okay. Uh, but, you know, you can imagine the remnants being vacuumed out. Uh, my favorite one is to just imagine Divine Light coming through and inviting Archangel Michael. The archangels cannot work with you unless you invite them in, okay? And you want to be careful. An archangel comes forward. You might feel kind of a big presence, but it feels loving and peaceful and welcoming, right? <laughs> Whereas if it's another kind of energy that you're tapping into, you'll have fear, anxiety, you'll feel very low, you won't feel very energetic, you know, all those kinds of things. So just be careful about that. But my personal favorite for a clearing with Archangel Michael is to invite the light in. And the light comes in and just dissolves all negativity. And any, if you wanna see this, cords, again, you can see it any old way you want. Debris in your energetic field, you know, it really does come down to how you formulate it, okay? How you want to envision it, yes? Whatever works for you, whatever pops up, run with it, okay? So dissolving. All of that. And then sometimes Archangel Raphael, who's known as the healing angel, I will do a separate video on him, can come in and fill you with healing light if an interaction with somebody has proven to be harmful. Now, I offer this right now because I know a lot of people are scared. Uh, when we ask Archangel Michael to help us, you know, we don't want to get into this space where we feel as though we can't help ourselves, right? And so we can't make a move unless Archangel Michael is there with us or what have you. You're here as a human being to live your existence, to live out your human story. But Archangel Michael can be called upon when you're feeling confused, when you are feeling like you don't know the road ahead. He helps with purpose, okay? So does Archangel Shamuel. We can address that later but in another video, <laughs> but you know, he can help you get sort of pointed in the right direction. Now, people get a little confused with this because they think, oh, I just call upon Archangel Michael and then boom, I get everything that I want. Well, maybe you don't know what all the possibilities are. 
maybe you're trying to go down a road that the angels are trying to keep you off, <laughs> right? They're trying to keep you off that road and you're not listening. This is where a lot of people will also say, oh, I've done those Archangel Michael meditations and I didn't get what I wanted and so it doesn't work. You need to stop and realize that when you ask Archangel Michael to help you to have courage, to have your voice speaking your truth, he's all about that. Helping you lovingly set boundaries, your self-esteem. If you get pointed down a different road and you're being stubborn and saying, nope, I say this. See, that whole Archangel Michael thing doesn't work. <laughs> it does. You just didn't heed what Archangel Michael was trying to let you in on. Okay. Archangel Michael is also very effective in helping you to go to sleep at night. Now, how is this? So you hear all the news every day. We're all, you know, hearing these fearful things. The world is in this immense changing stage right now. And when you go to bed at night, just spend 15 minutes doing a clearing, meditating, doing whatever that is for you, cord cutting, if it's just divine light, if it's imagining, um, you know, any bit of debris being brought out of you, you know, transmuted, which is Archangel Zadkiel kind of territory, transmuted into golden light and released. But remember again, if you are in a space where your mind is flipping around, you're going to keep that debris in your field. You're going to keep your own vibration a little off, a little distorted. And that makes it hard for us to keep moving on the track that we came here to be on, right? So this will come with, <laughs> there can be some uh, results that maybe you weren't anticipating. I've heard of people doing a clearing with Archangel Michael and then suddenly somebody walks out of their life. I've had this happen. <laughs> I've had this happen where I'm just doing like my regular little thing you know, clear away any toxicity. And next thing I know, I never hear from this one person again, or this friend leaves, or this, you know, person I was dating ends up exiting the picture. And boy, <laughs> give thanks, give thanks, because you were just protected. If you're feeling a little wobbly right now, if you're feeling like, you know, you could use a little more protection, call upon Archangel Michael, get into a meditation, clear that energy, detox, and let yourself be filled with light and see how things go from there. See if you are being guided towards something else. Now, remember, don't get the ego consciousness in here trying to, you know, over evaluate or whatever, trying to jump to conclusions about what's coming through. Let it unfold and you'll see that your self-esteem comes back. You'll see that even though there are things happening outside of us, we feel strong within. We are courageous within. And we know that no matter what comes our way, we can handle it. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Again, if you would like some more information on Archangel Michael, check the description box down below for a course I have over at Gumroad. Sending you all so much love and take care.